This house here, look how stained it is. I wonder who's home. Who oh, there inside? Anyone home? It's empty. Someone left in a hurry. Off hunting for flavor for the stew, I hope. Something's pulsing here. Let me try something. This is unexpected. Is this house haunted by calculus? Someone scrubbed the walls. Our target must have seen the numbers. Oh, I didn't much like them. Who goes into the wilderness to write letters? Our prudent sake lives here. She writes well, and she also seems to be out of her mind. Three oaks, it says. Could be where she's gone. Those are acorns on a table. Seems likely. As a cook, this prudent sake makes an excellent letter writer. She's resourceful. That's interesting. Let's go find these oak trees and this haunted, well lettered cook. So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? The blacksmith and his wife were haunted by an angry ghost. It won't be coming back. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I've no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. The treasure is here somewhere.
Do you hear a French woman? Aye. And she's taken no shine. Well, she is French. Come no closer! Who are you? Why do you follow me? Red McCraith, at your service. The banisher who lived. <laughs> For what little good it brought. Are you Prudence Hake? What do you want? She's skittish. Why? What are you doing out here in the woods? I have an engagement with the Queen of Spain. What does it look like I'm doing? You've seen the camp. We are starving. A day without bread is long, and acorns make a good enough flour. I was sorry to hear of your husband's death. My Thomas was a happy man, whatever you may have heard. You've hit a sore spot. Press hard upon it. Who were you talking to just now? What do you mean? Just now. Your voice was raised. You were speaking French. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Don't pretend. I know French when I hear it. I've no idea what you mean. I'm from Kent, by way of Wales. You won't get her to say it, but Prudence Hake is secretly French. May I go now, Scotsman? I'll be plain, Mrs. Hake. I believe you need my help. I did not say I was Prudence Hake. She's stubborn. I like that. I've seen the writing on your walls. You're haunted, are you not? I've had strange visitors, it's true. You, for example. Stay out of my house. I'm going home now. I mean it. Stay out. She denies what's happening to her. We'll need proof. More numbers. They look new. Yet more numbers. Let's follow the trail. Mrs. Hake seems suspicious to me. She was as suspicious of you as you are of her. I don't trust her. What else is she hiding? Her troubles, perhaps? Or her guilt? Numbers. We're on the right track. Doesn't like us snooping. This is a cipher. Has Prudence Hake been sending encrypted messages? She reports the destruction of food rations arriving by sea in New Eden. That explains the burnt docks when we arrived. What now? More stains. Keep digging. Prudence is a French spy, and a saboteur, too. But why would the ghost use her cipher? Maybe the ghost is a spy, too. These are not threats. Oh, he's 
remains call for a ritual and a lot of caution. Voice commands you, unveil! I have another insight. Change targets. Torment it first. Move yourself. Divert your focus. The veil shields this one. Get back up. That specter has seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Change targets. Torment it first. Watch out! Spectre possession! I feel a draft. From the invisible. They never learn, do they? More messages. A ghost left a fragment of their past here. What's this? Thomas? You know I'll always love you, right? The closer you get, the more aggressive it becomes. Thomas found her Huguenot seal. I don't think he knew she was a French Protestant. She lied to him. He never knew the real her. Maybe he did, and that's what killed him. We should try to talk to him. Their warnings, or cries for help. Think you could take on a ghost? I think I used to 
cope my wolf kills on one hand. Wait, we wish only to talk. Take your whispers and be gone! Hit harder than that. Things can see. Look at you, unloved and godless, silent, worthless, blood guilty, fool, forever, never ending mercy by my loving kindness. No, I cannot. I will not. Prudent, forgive me. Your silence is Thomas? Thomas! My God, no! What have you done? Stay! Please! Stay! He took his own life. His were no ordinary nightmares. Can bad dreams do that to a man? If he's haunted, yes. Yes, they can. He is here. Silence and the campfire. Just what Dr. Duarte ordered.
Leave us be. Red McCraith, sir. I'm trying to help your wife, Prudence. Whisper not to me, you devil. Must we do this every single time? You take the lead, then. All right, let's banish it. Be gone, devil! You'll not have her! Prudence is not who you thought she is, and yet you kept her secret. I know her. I love her. Even after she betrayed the colony, even knowing she lied to you. Perfect love cast death out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. I promised to love her. A promise should be kept. Sometimes a promise cannot be kept. I have loved her. I will love her. That's not enough. She needs me. She needs me. She needs me. He protects her. He just wants to keep her safe. So we banish him. Then she'll be safe. Whatever we do, Prudence has the right to know what's happening. We should tell her. When did the nightmares begin? No beginning, never ending. Let the whispers end forever. Let the whispers end. Let them end. Was there a face behind the voice, or a dark figure floating over you, perhaps, draining your life away? No, no, not but what we are, the creatures we all truly are, buried in the darkness. Did you take a sleeping draught? A remedy, perhaps? Did Prudence give you something? Give? She gave me everything. I kept it, and I gave it back. Why the coded messages? What were you trying to say? The devil's whispers will come back. Forever she must flee. She must flee! Why would the whispers come for her too, Thomas? Why aren't you telling us? Why are you here? Why aren't you running? Why isn't Prudence gone already? She'll listen if she hears it straight from you. Spoken plainly, mind you. No, no, not I. Not like this. Stay here. Maybe we can help. What are you doing here? Who exactly were you talking to? Who? Me? Just now, you were talking to someone. Who was it? It's ridiculous. I'm alone here. Don't play with me, Banisher. Now tell me the truth. I can tell you the truth. Can you accept it? You rarely sleep. You wake exhausted. You feel drained, but blame it on the grief of your loss and the fear of your exposure. What do you know of me and my life? I know you're a spy. And I know your husband loved you very much. He found your cipher. His ghost writes upon your walls. There is no ghost here. What are you up to? Though Thomas may wish to protect you, his presence puts you in danger. He thought I was a threat to you. He tried to chase me away. He loves you very much, which is why he won't leave you alone. Is he here? Is, is Thomas here? He is. He wants you away from New Eden, away from danger. I miss him every day. I know you do.
At the siege of Vienna, we hanged wreckers. Mess with our grub, we'd gut you first. Aye. I found your secret code. You. You left those messages. What do you want? Not I. A ghost. And I'd like to know why. I don't know what trick you're playing here, but I don't like it. I'm leaving. Don't get in my way, Scotsman. Wherever you go, your ghost will follow. Leave me be. She's a tough nut. She won't crack until she has no other choice. Prudence, Thomas, it's time. Thomas Hake, you met a tragic end. But, despite her lies, you lingered to protect the woman you love. My dearest Prudence, will she be safe without me? Will she live in peace? She's heard your warning. Now let her go. Let her live her life her own way. Please, tell her. Her love was ever enough. She knows. You have been heard. Go in peace. Was he here? What happened? What did you do to him? Thomas found peace. He wished you to know that your love was enough. Please. I need a moment. Alone. So I've lost his mind. But his love passed fast. I can relate to that.
Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thickskin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan MacRaith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> She was a wee thing, but strong. And we big men in armour didn't they scare her. She had more brains than her, and more wild too. In sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman, had she grown. I've never met my brother and sister. Wait, what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. What are their names? No. What? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomi Day is my sister. Tammy is my brother. I had no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do.